Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a general timeless reading for the sign of Pisces. So this is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind. Not all of the messages are going to be for you, Pisces, okay? Some of the messages are going to be for other people watching. Get comfy, get yourself something to drink maybe, and let's get started. First though, I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for being a part of my world. It really does mean the world to me that you're here. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. Please bring in the most accurate predictions, the most powerful confirmations, and the best advice for Pisces. It's like you're doing push-ups or abs with your insecurities. It's like one repetition after the next, after the next of shedding your insecurities, placing challenges on yourself. It's like as soon as you start feeling confident, you take yourself into a higher level, you demand more of yourself, and there they are, once again, repetition, your insecurities pop up, and you beat them, and then again. <laughs> And it's like you're building that muscle of not only believing in yourself, but not giving power to that little voice inside of you that tells you you can't do something. It's like you're really uh, making a point, Pisces here, which I love, of truly being more powerful than that inner voice. Mind over matter, right? Yes, but also will over mind. And I see you here making it very, very clear. Now, Pisces, first card that we got here is the um, Princess Knave. Um, whatever. I, I forgot the name for, the normal name for, for the, um, what is this? Knight Page. Oh wow, that, that took a while. <laughs> Princess of Pentacles. In this deck, it's Princess. In other decks, you know, they, they show different names. So the Princess of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy here. I see that you are, many of you are embarking on a whole new way to make money. A whole new way to live and experience your prosperity. A whole new way of making a living. Some of you are going into a completely different industry. That's what I'm seeing here. Currently. Maybe right now you're thinking about it. Maybe right now you're setting the intentions. Opening the space up. up creating a structure for uh, later incorporation of this new thing. Others of you are already in the thick of it. You're changing careers almost. The thing is, for some of you, it's happening too quick. But for most of you, it's happening way too slow. And that could be something that is bothering you. That could be something that is not letting you full, like letting you fully believe in a new project or a new path. Some of you are like, you know, yes, I want to do this. Yes, it's exciting. Yes, there's potential, but it's taking so long that, you know, maybe not, you know what I mean? Like maybe it's not actually as good as I think, or maybe um, something else is going to pop up. Maybe it's just a phase. Maybe it's a thing that will pass, an idea that will pass. Some of you are thinking this because you don't see the progress that you would like as fast as you would like, okay? But 
it's about making a decision is what I'm getting here. Spirit is telling you if you want it, you can have it. But it seems to be something that you need to choose first, right? It's not something that will develop on its own. It's not something that will fall out of the sky. This, for the Two of Swords, this is an active choice, an active decision of saying, okay, I am going to pursue this path. I am going to go this way. And once you choose, you do. <laughs> but it's not going to be the other way around. I feel like some of you are just sort of like, well, I'm going to plant all of these seeds and whichever sprouts, I'm going to stick to, right? But Spirit is saying, think about it the other way. Instead of planting a bunch of seeds and choosing which one will grow, I mean, allowing whatever to grow, choose the one you want to have grow and focus all of your energy and all of your time and everything there and make it happen. So this is a time to maybe think about the possibilities as far as potential and make a conscious choice, not only mentally, but also intuitively. Bringing your intuition with you, bringing your heart with you. Now, I see in your mind space here that some of you are thinking about higher levels of wealth, comfort. Some of you are wanting to maybe decorate the home, um, design furniture, design spaces, interior design, um, architecture. Um, some of you may be thinking about a more luxurious car or a more, more comfortable car, clothes, jewelry. Some of you may be thinking about spending more time in nature, spending, some of you may be wanting to spend like a holiday somewhere, somewhere, yeah, surrounded by nature, somewhere very romantic. You know, whether you are on your own or with a partner, something very, it's like a very romantic place when I'm getting here, very elegant place. Some of you may be thinking about a specific place to go on the holidays or just take a random holiday or a weekend off, day off, somewhere really nice. But I see you here being very aware, Pisces, that you have everything that you need, that you have your comforts and your needs being met. There's a lot of excitement about the possibilities of the new. So they're telling you here, Pisces, again, with seeds, Choose the one that you want to do the most and go into it. Observe the risks, observe the possibilities, the potentials. What if it goes the best it can go? What if it goes the worst it can go, right? And make a, a conscious choice to move forward. They're telling you here. It's almost as if you have like one wish, which, you know, I think that that's very limited, but I'm getting here that they're telling you like, you get to... Choose one of these seeds to sprout, and we will sprout beautifully, guaranteed. So which one do you want? What kind of lifestyle do you want out of that seed becoming the best it can be? You know what I mean? Like, some of you may be like, well, I can do this career, I can do this project, or I could be an author, or I could be a social media influencer, or I could be... Um, Whatever. So it's like, well, what life resonates with you the most? Because you're going to take this all the way. Whichever you actually want. Of course, insecurities will show up. Limiting beliefs will show up. What's new? <laughs> you are very familiar with exercising this muscle of saying, there, there, fear. I understand. I understand that. You're taking care of me. I understand that you're warning me about, you know, possible risks based on things that have happened from the past. Thank you, fear. Thank you for protecting me, but I am good. <laughs> and I see you definitely stepping out of these limitations, but not without first learning from them, which is why you're so strong, Pisces. That's why you have this wisdom. Because you give yourself the chance to learn from where you can learn. 
Now, I see here with the Temperance card that some of you are being very patient. You're taking it easy. Some of you are focusing on your well-being over this decision, over a project, over um, the will or the desire to do something. You're like, well, I'm going to do it full on after my nap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like priorities. And your priorities seem to be um, going into self-care a little bit more, Pisces. Maybe you're used to pushing yourself. Maybe you're used to going fast. But now it's like you're prioritizing your center, your well-being, your stability in order to make something sustainable long term. Some of you could be um, very connected to the Sagittarius energies. Some of you are balancing things in your life before going and diving deep into something. I don't know, I get this feeling, Pisces, that some of you can tell that next year is going to be very important. Not because you heard it in a reading, not because you saw it anywhere, not because of the astrology, but I feel like some of you just have this feeling that you are building the structure that is going to sustain big success in 2024. So I see you right now being very patient and laying all of the foundations, you know, very strategically, calmly, making sure you have everything that you need, making sure you have um, the schedule, the timing, the rest, the guidance, the mentorship, the softwares, whatever, right? It's like you're building the foundations for a new year in which you know you're going to make something happen. I feel like you don't know exactly what, but <laughs> I do feel like you're going to make something big happen. And some of you can feel it. Now, around you, I see that some of you, yes, you're building these foundations, and it's harmonious and lovely. But some of you are having to declutter first. Some of you are having to deal with a little bit of a mess first. And by mess, I don't necessarily mean a situation as much as much as I mean like cleaning the space in this card we see the death card right it talks about transformation all the time but look at the floor it's like littered with junk trash pieces of stories pieces of the past and I see that you know some of you could be bombarded with advice on decluttering, advice on how to remove challenges, problems, tendencies that have been ruining certain things in your life, how to take them out. And I see that you're going to be following this advice and clearing a lot of Pisces. Now, I also see here that some of you... <clears throat> wow, that's very harsh how... You know, I heard it in my mind, but some of you are getting rid of a Scorpio. Um, could be getting rid of a Scorpio on at home, like an animal. Um, but I feel like for most of you, it's like... You're getting this awareness. That... In order for this new space to be as beautiful as it can be, you have to clean it first. Before you design, before you buy stuff, before you, uh, you know, put it all pretty and stuff, you need to de-dust first. You need to clear the space first, Pisces. So that's what I feel like you're doing, some of you. I see that there is... A desire for more connection. Some of you want to have more connection in spaces that you've been in in a long time. Let's say that you're working in this company and you've never really connected to anyone because you've always had your barriers up. You've always been like, you know, you go in, out of work. You don't really talk to anybody. I feel like some of you are like, you know what, maybe, maybe I would like to have friends here. Maybe I would like to connect. Maybe there's a beauty to it. Maybe there is... Um, more fun to be had in that kind of scenario. And I see that many of you are going to make decisions to be more open, to be more willing to connect with others. Not with anybody, not with everybody, but with people who really resonate with you. 
I see here that you still don't have all the answers, Pisces, and that's okay. They will be revealing themselves in, in time here. The main message that I'm getting so far, before I take these next cards out, is to choose. Choose what life you want. If you can have any life, what life would you want? And then give it your all to making that happen. Focus on that seed as opposed to planting a bunch of seeds. Believe and trust in happiness. Oh, yeah, you can be happy, Pisces. You can be really happy, long-term happy. You can have it, you know, all be good. You can have a beautiful romantic relationship. You can have a beautiful, healthy connection to your work. You can have a healthy connection to your purpose. You can have a healthy connection to money. It can all be well and good. There doesn't need to be any drama in your life, Pisces. Good partnerships are made of equal amounts of positivity. <laughs> That's cute. So focus on and invest in people who can dream like you do. People that can hope like you do. People that can create, pursue, have the same ambition, desire, inspiration for life. Try to find that piece of yourself in others. Oh my gosh, this deck is so accurate. So I'm pulling a card for the past and the card literally says the past is over. Let your true self step forward. Your true self is better than your past self, Pisces. I get this constant feeling of some of you being like, oh, you know, the golden years have passed or like my prime passed or I peaked where this happened and no longer. But Spirit is saying here, you don't even know how good it's going to get. You don't even know how... But how much potential there is within you at this point to make a better version of yourself, one that you like more. Your intentions and heart deserve to be known. Some of you may need to show your interest, your love, your appreciation for a friend, for a lover, for a family member. Some of you really find that you feel this love for someone, but you're not maybe expressing it all that much. They're telling you here, why not? Nothing to fear, nothing to lose. Just, you know, show your love. Show your appreciation, Pisces. You're safe. Be ready. The best is on its way. Oh, and this is in the future. This deck has magic. There's so many decks that don't have magic. You know, I can still like they work through our intention, but this one has magic. Alright, so we got here, the future is sometimes lost in the wanderings of yesterday. I feel like that has happened for a lot of you, Pisces. I feel like there's a big chunk of the future that we can't seem to enter because we're somehow trying to resolve something in the past. And maybe there is no need to resolve anything. Maybe we can accept things as they are. Maybe we can take things as they happened, love them, appreciate them, learn from them, and not necessarily change the narrative, not necessarily repeat the pattern in order to prove to yourself that you can have a different outcome. Right now, I feel like it's okay to just move on. Some of you want closure, but you're not going to get closure. And it's okay if you don't if you don't get closure, just move on without closure. <laughs> Show appreciation and joy will follow. 
So part of your well-being moment, part of your focus on your well-being could be definitely sprinkled with some gratitude and it will make it all just more beautiful, Pisces. You have what it takes. You do. You have what it takes to perfect a structure, to clean a foundation. You have what it takes. Tomorrow brings the illumination of your hopes. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of you are or haven't really allowed yourself to explore your hopes. It's like you know what you hope for. But some of you feel like you need to clean your life a little before getting there or before even fully pursuing something. That's kind of like the vibe I'm getting. Of course, take it if it resonates, all of it. Stand still for now and listen to your life. Wow, listen to your life. It's a lotus flower, no less. Stand still for now and listen to your life. And we've been mentioning this in this reading, like what life do you want to live? What life do you want to have? And I see you here standing still precisely. I see you taking a moment to set this foundation, to be well, to be healthy, to be balanced, and to move forward feeling sure, feeling more confident and more like robust in your presence, right? So yeah, Pisces, I see good things coming and I see good things going. <laughs> you know, I see you creating the space for a new life you want to live. And Spirit is basically telling you, choose the one you want to live and that's the one you're going to live. Period. It's fine. You got it. All right, my loves. So yeah, if you like this reading, please subscribe. If you resonated with any little bit of it, any little bit of it, comment below. Let us know what little bit of it <laughs> resonated with you or what is your main takeaway. Comment below. Let me know. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to leave in the description box below, of course, always, my contact information and the products that I have lovingly created for you to see if maybe I can help you with your journey. Sending all my love, Pisces, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye!